Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you guys saw the title of the video. I did indeed buy some fake sneakers. But I actually did it on purpose, so I did not get scammed. I feel like that's one of the like worst things to happen. Okay, not the worst thing, but that's probably one of the things you don't want to do when you think you're purchasing a pair of authentic sneakers and then you actually like paid all this money for a fake. So I actually bought some fake sneakers on purpose so that I can show you guys the differences. So here I have the Dark Mocha Jordan 1s. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference on camera, but I think there is a pretty obvious color difference between the two. So let me know in the comments below. Don't skip in front. Let me know in the comments below now which one you think is the real or fake, whether it's this one here or is it this one. I'll give you guys a few moments, okay? And the real one is actually this pair over here. I will go into the differences and the telltale signs in this video, obviously. I also have another pair of fakes that I got as well and that one. That one is shocking. I also wanted to share a new app that I discovered recently and it is called the Check Check app and it is a legit sneaker checking app. So it comes in super handy, especially if you purchase a pair of sneakers from a secondary market. And I know that is the case for a lot of us because it's been super hard to get any of these hype sneakers for retail. And of course, when you purchase it, from a secondary market, there's always a risk um, of not getting an authentic pair. And you know, you're spending all this money, of course you want to make sure that you have the real deal. And obviously there are telltale signs which I'll go into later. But if you don't want to go into all that trouble, you can just download the Check Check app and take a few photos and then they will tell you whether it is a pass or a not pass. And I do have a referral code which I'll leave on screen right now and you guys will get one free legit sneaker check. So make sure you download the app because I found it to be super super helpful and really easy to use. So before we get into the video, I actually want to do a quick check on the Check Check app for these Jordan ones that I purchased. Obviously we all know now that this is a fake pair but the Check Check app does not know. So we're gonna test how legit this is and I am going to... Oh, I also wanted to show you guys the Explore page, which is really, really great. I found it really helpful because they actually show you all the previous checks that they have done. And there is like so many different silhouettes and colorways on there. So you can actually go onto that Explore page. And if you have that pair of sneakers, you can just look at you know what has passed and what hasn't passed. So you can see whether you have similarities. Um, you know, for different aspects of the sneakers and give you a peace of mind, if you guys know what I mean. There has been a few times where I thought I might have gotten scammed because last year I had to pay resale for majority of my sneakers and, and it was tough. But the good news is I did not get scammed and I'm just really, really happy about it. And anyway, I'm rambling on. Let's get into this sneaker check, but you guys should check out the Explore page because I find that really, really helpful. But today we are going to check the Air Jordans. So here you can select a brand. Obviously, this is a pair of Air Jordans and they have different silhouettes here. This is the Jordan 1s and they also give you the product image guidelines. So you can like check the examples of like you know, how the photos should be. You want your photos to be really clear so that whoever that's checking your sneakers, you know, can see them properly. And then you just have to upload it. And it's really good here how they've given you a guideline of what to upload. So this one here says appearance, inside label, back of insole, insole stitching, box label, date code, and then you can also do additional photos just to have a peace of mind. And then you can also leave remarks if you want to, but like I have everything I need. So we're just gonna go next. And they have three options in terms of turnaround time. So that is 30 minutes, four hours, or 12 hours. And I always do the 30 minutes one. So I've selected that and I'll go next. And yeah, I'll just confirm that and we just wait. So while we wait for the results, I want to show you guys these sneakers because I mean, it's not as shocking. The other pair that I have, I haven't told you guys what it is. That one is shocking. But let's just get into my little legit sneaker checking 
video um, and yeah I hope you guys find this like somewhat helpful so the Duff markers obviously have been super super popular and I have my pair here which is the real pair is this one over here it's a little bit smaller because I couldn't get the fake pair in the exact same size I thought that would have been good but I wasn't able to source it so this one I have here in a men's 7.5 but my real pair is actually a men's six and a half and first off let's start off with the box okay look at this I know the size is different because the sneaker is in a different size but Right off the bat, I just feel like there's something a little bit off about, you know, the box. But I think to the untrained eye, you know, if you don't think too much about it, you, you may be like, okay, this is a Jordan 1 box. It looks a little bit weird. So let's look at the label on the box. And I noticed that the font or typeface that they've used on the fake pair is a little bit more bold compared to the authentic pair and then i also noticed on the underside of the box i should have sent a photo to the check check app but i noticed on the authentic pair you guys can see there's a little sticker here whereas the fake pair doesn't have anything i mean it does have some of the prints and the logo and stuff but it is missing this sticker over here okay it's okay no big deal let's move on there's one huge detail on the fake box that i noticed today that is a huge giveaway and this may be a little bit difficult because not everyone has a uv light like this but i shined a uv light on the box of the fake pair and immediately you guys can see there is some stamps on the box that is not normal if you shine a uv light on a real pair of like jordan box or like any like legit sneaker box you will not find any weird stamps that glows like you can see here in my b-roll that is 100 percent a telltale sign that you just got scammed <laughs> if you purchase a pair like this so let's move on to the inside of the box and i only noticed this detail because on the chat chat app one of the photo that they want you to take is of the date card and it's usually on the lid of the box so i'll show you the one on the real pair you guys can see there is a little stamp over here and you're meant to take a photo of that and when i was trying to take a photo um, you know of that for the app I realized the fake pet doesn't have a date at all so obviously that is another telltale sign and you can just tell the construction of the box is just really off like it's just not in line they did not do a good job with this box you know were they even trying I don't think so I mean they made the effort to print like the sizing and whatever dimensions here but you guys can see in comparison to the real one the box is just not it so anyway let's move on to the actual sneakers because that is the important part that we're here for so here I have the fake pair I've already laced them up and then I have the real pair here and you guys can see there's obviously a color difference between the two and the fake pair is a little bit darker I feel like if you had these on feet from far away to the untrained eye I don't think you will think that these are fake right off the bat because I feel like in terms of the quality of the leather it's actually not too bad I personally don't have a lot of experience with fake sneakers I went to a fake market when I was in Shanghai and the fakes there were like really really obvious that they were fakes but now that I'm inspecting this a little bit closer I have to say it's not too bad but there are definitely a lot of telltale signs so first of all we can see the color is definitely off so when you look at the new buck on the real pair you can see it is a bit of a lighter mocha color and when you run your finger across the new buck you can see there is a shift of color and it is really nice and buttery and the color is just beautiful and then you look at the fake pair and you're like wait this is a little bit darker and when you try to run your fingers across the new buck like it doesn't really do that color shift thing and it's just not buttery it's it's not it so this is not it and when you look at the wings logo on the sneaker you can see that the authentic one is a little bit smaller and it just doesn't look 
as defined. As weird as that sounds, I feel like the one on the fake pair is almost too clear. In comparison to the authentic pair, you can see that it's just not the same. Hopefully I'm doing a decent job at describing that. The one on the fake pair is almost a little bit too big as well. The proportions are not right. They did quite a decent job in terms of the color of the upper of the leather and just feeling the two. It's definitely not as soft and flexible. I have worn these so you guys can see a crease on the toe box area, but it doesn't feel quite as nice. The laces, they got it really, really close. So moving on to the insoles of the sneaker, that was one of the requirements for the app to take a photo of the underside of the insole. And the fake one, it looks like this. And if I'm being completely honest, I don't think I've ever remove the insole of any of my Jordan ones because I've never doubted <laughs> the authenticity of any of my Jordans because I picked up most of them for retail. So I did attempt to take out the insole on my real mockers but because I've worn them, I feel like they've stuck onto the sneakers and I've <laughs> ripped it a little bit so I'm not going to remove the whole thing. But you guys can see it looks kind of similar, but you want to look at the inside of the sneaker and the stitching on the inside. I was actually really surprised to see that they are somewhat similar, like they have the loose threads and the little masking tape. When I first looked at the fake one, I'm like, oh, that looks a bit odd with the little masking tape. And then I looked at my real pair, I'm like, oh, that is actually a thing. <laughs> As part of the, I guess, manufacturing process for the Jordan 1s, this is definitely a detail that you really need to look into because you need to remove the insole to see this but I think it is really an eye-opener because like I said I've never done this with any of my sneakers before and it's really interesting to see the construction of the inside of a pair of Jordan 1s. The other thing that I want to show you guys is the stitching on the midsole, this is also another huge giveaway for this pair because you guys can see that the stitching is just not done very well and this one like you can see some parts are protruding because they didn't stitch in this little I guess seam or indent of the sneaker some of the stitching has come like on top of that portion and that is definitely a telltale sign because you see with the real pair it is very clean and very nice and it is all within the lines there's nothing weird going on here and look at the fake one and you're like, okay, something is not right. So that is my real versus fake Jordan 1 mockers. I really hope you guys found this like somewhat helpful and you did not get scammed. So the other fake sneakers that I picked up is the Nike SB Strange Loves. And you guys know how much I love these sneakers. And you're probably looking at this thinking like, it actually looks okay. And that is because this is the real one. I have the fake pair here and it is still in the box because I wanted to show you guys that it came in the special box, okay? So, first of all, I've already done an unboxing of the special box and I just feel like this just looks just looks off and they are not even trying. Like, it even came with this little certificate and it says, Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I didn't get this when I unboxed the special box, so I don't know what that is about. And this is the special box that it comes in, and you guys can see that it is slightly damaged, but that's fine. And even the like material of the box just doesn't feel the same. And another telltale sign is that with the special box, it doesn't actually come with another box inside. When I unboxed my pair um, that I had earlier in when did those sneakers come out? Like February 2020. The sneakers did not have an additional SB box. So this is what the box looks like. I mean, props to them for actually printing a special box. I don't know why that was necessary, but yes. This is the fake pair that I have to show you guys. And I feel like I don't even need to send any photos to Check Check app for this particular sneaker because it is very very obvious that something's not right here because this is the size of an authentic pair of nike sb dunks in my size anyway and look at the difference like when i unbox this i already knew straight away i'm like the size of the box is just not right and then inside 
these are the fake pair of strange loves that I have and also I just want to do a quick disclaimer that I personally do not support fake sneakers I always want to buy authentic sneakers and I feel like I would rather not have the sneakers than to be wearing a fake pet if that makes any sense um, but I just thought that this video will be helpful for those of you guys who you know purchase a pair on a secondary market and you want to figure out whether your pair is fake because I found it personally like very interesting to see the different details but with this particular strange love pair it's just very very obvious to me because I already own the real pair like when I unboxed this for the first time like straight away I just saw this and I was like okay they did try in some ways with the upper of the sneakers and the colors and stuff but like a huge giveaway was the outsole which I'll show you guys later on but I also find it really funny how when you unbox this fake pair they also provided me with a little packet of stickers um, so yeah I mean again <laughs> props to them for doing that here I have the fake pair and here I have my pair obviously mine is already worn so you guys can see that there is a little bit of creasing and stuff but you guys can see there is a huge difference in terms of the color of the outsole this one sort of has a peachy like yellowy kind of tinge to it whereas with the real pair it has a really nice soft pink icy kind of outsole and I just really really love my strange loves and I wear them so much it is quite clean because I actually cleaned the outsole just for this video so that hopefully you guys can see the difference there it is a very very big difference like 100% this is fake. In this case, I'm not gonna waste my credit on the check check app because I already know for a fact that this is not even close. Like this one, I don't know, something went wrong there with their manufacturing color match and stuff. So moving on to the insoles of the sneaker, you guys can see I've taken them out and a good telltale sign is when you flip on the underside of the insole, you guys can just see that the fake one just looks a little bit off even though you can see that they tried to do the details with this little padding here but there's like a bit of like a glue stain or something on the fake one and just in terms of how it feels the fake one is just very very flimsy and they did make the effort to do the print on the insole but again you guys can see it's just not the right print now looking at the inside of the sneaker I have removed the insole so you guys can see the inside stitching and even though they both have have this loose thread thing happening you can see that the fake pair does have some glue stains and I don't think that's normal because with my real pair you guys can see it is nice and clean and even though the loose threads are there it just looks like it's well done you know another really obvious detail is the embroidery on the heel of the sneaker so this is the strange love logo and when you look at the fake pair you guys can see that this again it's like what is going on there like it's not as detailed you can see in the top corner here it's almost as if the embroidery really didn't quite happen in some sections like it didn't really pick up whereas when you look at the real pair you can see it is nice and pronounced and you can see the logo clearly when you take a closer look at the velvet on the fake pair you can definitely tell that it is not as plush or soft or like dense as the real pair and just overall the quality is just not it like there is just no point okay we do not want that what we want is a real pair and I know that the resale is quite high on these but if you've been thinking about them for a while now and you are ready to splurge on yourself or to splurge on somebody else I think you should definitely go for them because I just love these so much highly highly recommend but anyway moving on so I thought I'll just have a little snack while I wait for the results for my Jordan ones and I'm just having some yogurt and yeah guys I feel like these strange love dunks like the fake pairs are you know shocking because I just feel like they're not very good but then again to the untrained eye they may not be able to tell a difference especially if someone is wearing them on feet if you don't look very closely um, you would just think like oh, okay they're wearing strange love dunks but yeah I just think it's super important to know that your sneakers are authentic but let me eat this so 
The result is in and it says that the Jordan 1 mockers are not passed, which is really great. So obviously I knew that the sneakers were fake, but I just think that this is a really handy tool to use if you're, you know, struggling to see if your sneakers are real or fake. Obviously there are a lot of videos out there, but this is definitely a really, really convenient way to find out whether your sneakers are authentic and I would highly recommend the app. Like I mentioned before, I'll leave all the details down below if you guys want to download the app. And don't forget to use my referral code so that you can get one free legit check. Um, but yeah guys, that is pretty much it for my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's a little bit different from my usual sneaker unboxing and right now I have no idea what I'm gonna do with these fake sneakers. Oh wait, that's actually the real one. These ones are the fake ones and I just have no idea what I'm gonna do with them because I will never wear fake sneakers and I don't know, maybe I'll just try and deconstruct it and try and do something about it. Um, and even with the Strange Love Dunks, like obviously I've spent money on it so I just don't want to just chuck it out. But yeah, I don't know. I think... I don't know, okay? I bought them just for the video and now I don't know what to do with them. But anyway guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'm going to keep eating my yogurt and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! This is the real pair but I'll go into the differences later on. Oh my god, no. This is actually the real pair. What am I even doing? <laughs> I do ask you to include a photo of the underside of the insole which I've already attached. Wait, attached is the right word? Sound like I'm sending an email like Please find attach <laughs> the photos of the sneakers. The special box edition. Special. Did I say that weird?